Hey everyone, welcome back to Retro Tech today. I'm outside. In this box I got a new BVM. I'll tell you a little bit more about how I got this one. This one's uh, not in working condition completely and it was donated to me. So let's take a look around this box here. This box was reused for this uh, packing job and it's not the best box. I mean it is double walled which is good but again anytime you reuse a box you're risking it now the reason see here on this corner but we did reinforce it with extra good padding inside so hopefully it held up it's a 14 inch bvm from what i remember but uh down here you can see this this obviously got a little moisture or wet or something because it's pretty much disintegrated the outer wall so i don't think it's been dropped but it has taken some um it's been moved around and smushed up against things obviously so hopefully it held up The first thing I needed to do was set up my input card because this BVM did not include any kind of video input card at all. So thankfully I do have extra BKM 129Xs so that I was able to get RGB set up and input into the monitor. However, you'll notice right away that this tube is quite dim. Yeah, so no matter what I do with any kind of adjustment on this monitor, the colors are not bright at all. It's quite dim, especially the red. I'm not really getting much red color at all. I'll show you the test pattern in here that really lets you see all the colors at once. It's just a standard color bar pattern, but notice in between these two blue guns over here, there's supposed to be this red color, uh, but there is no red really at all on the screen. And that is with even the red uh, settings maxed out as well as the brightness settings turned up as much as possible. 
I'm going to switch now to some other testing and just show you how uh, really dim the tube is. If I go straight to just a colored screen that's red, you'll notice that it just is very, very dim. The good news is this monitor does work, so a lot of the internals are still good. However, if we switch over and look at the menu and into the settings, we'll see that the actual hours on the uh, whole monitor operation time is over 71,000 hours. So that tells me again that the tube is most likely worn out and we need to get a new tube into this. Um, so again, the, the monitor didn't have the tube, it didn't have a bezel, so I do have a bonus unboxing here of a bezel for this BVM. So that's one thing I did personally buy for it. That means in the next episode, we're going to switch out the tube in this monitor with a better tube. And then we're also going to recap the main chassis and we're gonna do some other maintenance and calibrations for it uh, just to get it back into great shape because I really want to save this one. It's a multi-format monitor. So again, look for that episode to come next. Thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you next time with some more retro content.